the world of agriculture, there is a lot of talk about biostimulants, which belong to a promising class of products that help to enhance plant nutrition and soil quality. It is obvious that biostimulants increases plant growth, crop yield, and quality, while decreasing the need for pesticide and fertilizers. India is currently one of the few nations in the world to establish separate regulations for biostimulants. Hello and welcome to MindSync, your compliance guard. I am Swati from MindSync. The market for biostimulants has been overloaded with fake products due to a lack of regulations and registration guidelines. The Indian government established a regulatory body and compliance standards for biostimulant market in order to prevent false claims. All about biostimulant and its regulatory compliances are discussed in this video by MindSync. Department of Agriculture, Cooperation and Farmers Welfare under Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare regulates the manufacture and import of biostimulant in India. The Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare on the 23rd of February 2021 has issued fertilizer inorganic, organic or mixed control amendment order 2021 to further amend the Fertilizer Inorganic, Organic, or Mixed Control Order, 1985. The Biostimulant Regulation gets notified under the amended order, where any new biostimulant product must be included in Schedule 6 of the Regulations for Registration. As per the amended order, a new clause 2AB of Fertilizer Inorganic, Organic, or Mixed Control Amendment Order 2021 defines biostimulant as a substance or microorganism or a combination of both whose primary function when applied to plants, seeds, or rice as far is to stimulate physiological processes in plants and to enhance its nutrient uptake, growth, yield, nutrition efficiency, crop quality, and tolerance to stress, regardless of its nutrient content, but does not include pesticide or plant growth regulators, which are regulated under the Insecticide Act, 1968. Biostimulants are eco-friendly and have the ability to significantly boost crop yields by improving nutrient uptake and metabolic functions. The main regulatory aspects of the amendment includes eight different categories of biostimulants, and also a provision for the creation of a new category if a product cannot be categorized under the mentioned categories. The specifications of biostimulants, including its name, active ingredients, or where it is not possible to indicate its active ingredients, then its chemical composition, name of the crop to which it may be applied, its benefits, and the method of analysis, for determination of its active ingredients, or chemical composition, shall be specified by the central government in Schedule 6. The biostimulants specified in Schedule 6, shall be classified under any of the following categories, namely, botanical extracts, including seaweed extracts, biochemicals, protein hydrolysates and amino acid, vitamins, Cell-free microbial products, antioxidants, antitranspirants, humic, and fulvic acid, and its derivatives. Any person manufacturing a biostimulant, for which no standards have been specified, shall apply for grant of provisional registration. To apply for provisional registration, first the manufacturer is required to obtain a certificate issued by the state government in Form G2, to the effect that the product is available in the market, and no incident has come to its notice, about harmful effect of the product. The manufacturer then submits, an application to the controller for grant of provisional registration in Form G1, along with G2 certificate, indicating all brand names, and also certifying that category, and chemical composition of all the brands are same, details of the product, 
its specifications, label, and such other particulars as may be required. On receipt of application, controller of fertilizers, after due scrutiny, and following the prescribed procedure, will issue certificate of provisional registration in form G3 to the manufacturer. Once a product is provisionally registered, a biostimulant manufacturer is authorized to sell such provisionally registered product in the country. Central government makes an order, as on 30 September 2022, to extend the provisional registration validity up to the 22nd of February 2024. All provisions of fertilizer control order, including sampling, shall be applicable after provisional registration. However, Samples may be analyzed in respect of those parameters, limits for which have been prescribed, and also based on the label claims for provisionally registered products. A certificate is issued by the state government, informed G2 to the effect that the product is available in the market prior to the publication of the said order, and no incident has come to its notice about harmful effect of the product. Since no procedure has been prescribed in guidelines for issue of requisite certificate by the state government's informed G2 regarding verification of sale for the last three years and hazardous effect of the production, state government is advised to adopt the following procedure, self-attested label of products along with self-attested sales figures of products sold in their state for the last three years from an authorized representative of the company, or GST data for the last three years, or stock production of the product for last three years, duly verified by a chartered accountant. States may consider self-declaration of no reported ill effect, or any international publication, or worldwide acceptable test report, supporting non-hazardous effect of product. States are required to issue certificate in G2 form for a product, and its brand names may be mentioned or annexed with G2 form. However, separate G2 form is required for each different product. State governments are issuing separate guidelines for grant of sale permissions involving data required for inclusion under Schedule 6. States are to expedite the issue of G2 form within 15 to 20 days of receipt of application from the manufacturer, in order to facilitate all manufacturers to submit their G1 form for provisional registration to the controller of fertilizer. Every manufacturer or importer of a biostimulant shall make an application to the controller in Form G for specifying it as a biostimulant in Schedule 6. Along with all the forms and their specifications, a detailed description of labeling, sampling specifications, with analysis from a good laboratory practice, GLP, or National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratory, NABL, accredited laboratory, and testing methodology, has also been provided. Product wise lab testing application has to be made for various chemical and toxicity test of biostimulants. After lab testing, data generation report will be provided. In order to control the quality of the biostimulants, these regulations will have the desired effect. No person shall manufacture or import any biostimulant unless such biostimulant is included in Schedule 6. Every manufacturer or importer of a biostimulant shall provide the following data relating to such product for specifying it as a biostimulant in Schedule 6. The studies to be undertaken for chemistry are source, whether natural extracts of plant or microbe or animal or synthetic. Product specification with analysis from GLP or NABL accredited lab. Physical and chemical properties of active ingredients and adjuvants, if any. Method of analysis conforming to the specifications and shelf life. Agronomic bioefficiency trials 
shall be conducted at National Agricultural Research System, including Indian Council of Agricultural Research, State Agricultural Universities. Bioefficacy trials shall be conducted at minimum three different doses for one season at three agroecological locations. The toxicity test report along with the name of the institute where the manufacturer of biostimulant obtained the certificate and recommendation of following five basic acute toxicity tests and four ecotoxicity tests of GLP accredited lab shall be submitted. Acute oral, dermal, inhalation, primary skin irritation, eye irritation studies to be undertaken under acute toxicity. Ecotoxicity test data with respect to bird, freshwater fish, honeybee, earthworm. Long-term chronic studies, as in case of pesticide, are not needed to be conducted. No biostimulant shall contain heavy metals content like cadmium, chromium, copper, zinc, lead, arsenic, over and above the maximum limit prescribed for such metals. For pesticide analysis, the sample of the product, along with an affidavit by the manufacturer or importer on non-judicial stamp paper of Rs 10, stating that the product does not contain pesticide beyond permissible limit of 0.01 ppm. In case of a biostimulant having natural origin or other, the requirement of necessary data shall be as decided by the Central Biostimulants Committee as per the guidelines formulated. Biostimulant imported is a basic raw materials with high concentration and which are not sold directly to the farmers. The importers of such biostimulant can import biostimulants of technical grade and these can be cleared from customs without Form G, that is Certificate of Registration of Biostimulant. The importer has to sign a bond and submit to the Department of Agriculture with the list of goods they import and a declaration that these goods are not sold directly to the farmers. They are traded to manufacturers who formulate them to make biostimulants, as per notification norms and by obtaining required permissions. Hence certificate of registration of such biostimulants is not required for custom clearance. The Fertilizer Control Amendment Order of Inclusion of Biostimulants is a step that will help both the industry and the farmers. MindSync will guide you in complete process of registering your biostimulant. For any regulatory or business compliances, contact MindSync. We will be happy to help you. Thank you.